Good morning, guys. We're heading out with Mexican Gulf Charters today. Going out on a big boat trying to catch tunas and swords. Leaving out of Venice, Louisiana. Heading out into the abyss. Look at all this bait right here. Acres of it. Tunas are jumping. Those are all tuners. Look at all the fish. All right, guys. Here's the deal. We got Jason, we got John fighting the fish down there, we got another Justin, we got a Jordan, we got me, and then we got Hughes. He's the only H on the boat. <laughs> what do you think about that, John? Uh, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Big old circle on that one. You doing a good workout there, John? I am getting a good workout. <laughs> Nice! Nice tuna! <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> nice. Woo! There's a marlin. There's a mar. Oh my gosh, look at all the fish! There's a marlin chasing them. You're acting like this is no big deal, man. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> what? This might be one. Is this, is this a big tuna? So we might be in for a good fight here then. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of line to reel back in. All right, go ahead and put that on there. Hang on, Justin, this fish is angling right at the rig. Damn, that's a big one! Woo! We are close. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this fish is freaking huge. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! God, that thing's huge! Woo! Look at that tuner! Oh my God! Wow! Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about! That thing is a giant! It's my first tuna ever. I've been wanting to catch one for so many years. Look at that thing. It's huge. <laughs> All right, look at that. Look at that giant tuna, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jason, you want this one? Yes. <laughs> Jason hooked up. All right, Captain, tell me what that is. Bait for a marlin. Another tuna in the box.
just rolled up to another spot and we're putting out an electric reel with some strobes on it and I think it's going down there pretty deep. Hey, How deep water are we in? 1,236 feet. 1,236 feet, no big deal. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Ring pop, got a little lighted ring pop on there. So turn that into 169 pounds. Looks like it's got special sauce on it. What is that? Yeah, like a Cajun? I don't know what that is, but it feels very interesting when it gets on your hands. Hmm. This is the Beastmaster right here. This is the electric reel from Shimano. Makes it real easy to reel fish up when they're in very deep water. Here's your throttle. Here's your uh, clutch. And you got a little digital screen that tells you everything that's going on. Chicken bone. Holy crap. Woo! Oh, we just landed a swordfish. A freaking swordfish. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> just came out of like 800 feet of water. Look at those giant eyeballs. That's some good eats right there. Hey, huge high five. It feels sandy. It's like a shark. It's a shark. Yeah, it's a shark. Big old eye. That's just, that's freaking cool, man. That is cool. We caught a swordfish and a giant tuna in the same day. A sword and uh, three good tuners. Tuners. We're gonna need a bigger cooler, man. Bro. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was good. That's yeah, like, good that's yeah, like that a great day. 250 <laughs> pounds of fish. Good yeah. job. All right, guys, wrapping up the day here. Going out with the Mexican Gulf Fishing Company charter. Uh, went out with Jordan and Justin, uh, my boss, my colleague, Jason. Uh, and our buddy John and it was just a great fishing trip. We caught a 114 pound tuna. I, I wasn't even in, uh, expecting to catch uh, a tuna period. I didn't know really know what to expect. They were just like, come along. I got invited and I caught this huge tuna, personal best there. Uh, my boss caught a swordfish, 140 something pound swordfish. And uh, I would have never thought we would have caught that. So amazing experience down here in Venice, Louisiana. If you want to go check out the, the Mexican Gulf Fishing Charters, you can check them out on Facebook uh, or go to their website. And uh, if you want to catch a big tuna, they make it pretty easy for you. So awesome time today. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me do something a little bit different than the normal green fish, but I certainly had a blast, accomplished personal best. And now one of my life goals has been to catch a tuna and literally eat it like right off the, you know, right after you catch it. It's on the dock right now, 
we're about to go slice them up, so I'm gonna have some fresh sashimi. It's gonna be delicious. All right, I'm about to get the emperor slice here. This is that big old tuna I caught. Right off this line. has been on my bucket list for a long time, so what's the best piece? What do I need to get? This one right here. That one right there? Yeah. Okay, there we go. It's cold. <laughs> mm. Cold and delicious. Mm. <laughs> Tastes like success. <laughs> Uh, you could even put a little uh, nail weight in the front, kind of get, get it to uh, do a little dive technique. Um, there's a lot of things you could do. This. There's a squirrel, guys. There's a squirrel here. He's coming to check this thing out. Apparently, he thinks uh, the shrimp scent in this thing is so crazy that I've got squirrels coming up to me right now. <sighs> okay, he's gone. Um, Look at that, guys. Crazy squirrels, yes. man. 